السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Thank you so much for joining me. So this video is to teach us how to tell the time of Zuhur and Asr with the shadows. So there are a couple of uh, positives of, of learning this. One is that you can check the timing on our you know phone apps and, and, and charts we get off the internet. Uh, I know Sheikh Hamza Yusuf said that I think he was even in the Masjid al-Haram. He's measuring the shadows uh, to see if they're calling the Adhan at the right time, if they're calling it early because they're using um, uh, like you know calculated times. Um, and, and he noticed like he's doing this all over different parts of the world and so on and I noticed that uh, some people were doing it early you know before the time would actually come in um, so you can use that to check these times to make sure you know it, it's accurate um, you can do that you can use this to you know help provide the sunnah and uh, uh, of course is the sunnah right is to do it with shadows and and thirdly to you know get in touch with nature and get closer to Allah through his, his creation uh, as a wajal um, so let's get started. Um, quick, you know, review of what we're looking at here. This is something from Microsoft Paint, um, which seems to work well for me. So on the left, I have the basic notes of what we're going to talk about. Um, on the right are these two term definitions, uh, which I'll get to in a moment. And up here is my um, hand, you know, drawn pictures of the sun throughout the day. Okay. So in the morning, you know, the sun will rise from the east. And at this time, the shadow will be very long, right? Okay, so this here is like my stick or a man standing here or something, you know, whatever object you're using to measure a shadow. Um, so when the sun rises from the east, you know, the shadow will be long, right? As it's rising and rising and rising, the shadow will move and it will get shorter. Okay. Um... So it's moving, it's getting shorter and shorter until it hits the midday, which is uh, when the sun is directly overhead, and this is called the zenith. In Arabic, it's called the istawa. Okay? So, how do you know then when, it, when the sun is at the istawa time? The, the easiest way that I know of, at least, is to measure the shadow around this time. And, um, you know, for starters, you'd want to perhaps look at one of those ti calculated times uh, that estimate, you know, the time of Luhur and so on. And, you know, start maybe 15 minutes before then or 20 minutes before then. Start measuring the shadow here, okay? So you take the you know, look at the shadow around this time when you'd expect it to be at least a starting point. You put a rock at the end of the shadow. Okay, this is my rock right here. Um, then you'll wait, you know, maybe a minute or two. And then come back and, and look again. So here's my rock. A minute later, and here's the shadow. It will have moved a little bit, um, but there's basically uh, three different scenarios. One is that it got shorter still. Um, in that case, then uh, you're not at the zenith yet. You're not at the istawa. You're before the istawa if it is still shortening. Um, if it is the same length, like I've drawn here, then you're at the zenith. And you've, you've entered the istawa time, and you're currently in that time. And uh, during this time, um, uh, there's some differences of opinion, but uh, with, I follow the Maliki Medheb. And within that, this Medheb, um, it's okay to pray the Nawafil, you know, the optional prayers. Um, and you can also, you know, make up like a, a far prayer from, you know, before. Um, but you cannot pray uh, Dhuhr yet, because Dhuhr has not come in yet during the Istawa time. Um, the other schools uh, may have some other, you probably want to, you know, investigate further. But very generally speaking, um, it's generally uh, like disliked to pray uh, a Nawafil prayer during this time. Okay, so the next time uh, of note is the Zawal time. The Zawal time is when the sun has moved past uh, the zenith, okay, or the Istawa. And so here's my rock again at, at the zenith. And I measure it and a few minutes later. I'm measuring, 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 and so on, and checking it. I noticed that it has started lengthening. That is the Zawal time, and that is when you will call the Adhan for Zohar. Okay, when you start noticing that it's lengthening. So before the Istawa, it is long initially and shortening. At the Istawa, it is no, neither lengthening or shortening. And uh, after the Istawa, which is called the Zawal time, um, then it will be lengthening. 
Okay. And so, as, a, as I've noted here, Zawal, the Torah begins, called the Adhan, and this is the Ikhtiari time, right? So now we're going to talk a little bit about the Ikhtiari and Dabari time. So your respective Medheb will, will probably you know, break these down further. Um, so I'm just going to give you a, uh, some generalities about this. Um, you can go to your local scholar, your imam, or so on, to really break this down, um, especially within your respective Medheb. So, generally speaking, the Ikhtiari time is translated as the optional time and the Dabari time, the mandatory time. Okay, and you cannot delay the Salah until the Dabari time without a valid excuse. Okay, and I'll get into when the Dabari time starts in a moment. But just know that at the Zawal time, when you call the Yadhan for Lahor, uh, this, is the, this is the Ikhtiari time of Lahor, as I've written here. Call the Yadhan Ikhtiari. Okay. So now let's talk about Asr. Okay. So I take um, I have this little rock here, and we'll say this is what I measured the length of the shadow at the Istoa. Okay, at the at the zenith or Istoa. So I take the length of this shadow here. Okay, and I add to it the length of the object. Okay, so I'm just going to estimate that you know this is the length of the object with the worth of shadow, right? Okay, and now however. Uh, as I've noticed down here, one length of the shadow for Asr, or two lengths, which is Abu Hanifa's opinion. So I'll add this here, two lengths. Okay, so now when the, the shadow, of course, you know, it's, it's growing and growing throughout the day, right? When it's moving you know, further and further into the day, the shadow will get longer and longer. And perhaps it's a little bit exaggerated of, of distance, but... Um, so this is going to be the beginning of Asr, okay? So within the Maliki Madhab, um, and to my knowledge, the, you know, the Shafi'i Hanbali, uh, at this length right here, when it's this long, this is when Asr will begin, and the Ikhtiari time of Asr uh, begins here. And that's when you'll call the Yadan for Asr, okay? So you, you take the length of the shadow at Istawa, you add to it the length of the object, that's Asr time. Uh, Abu Hanifa's opinion is too easy, you'll delay it until two lengths of the object. Okay, so that'd be this long is one you, you'd call the Yadhan, for Abu Hanif's opinion. Uh, Rahimahullah. And this is why if you go to one masjid, they may be praying Asr, you know, we'll just say 5 p.m. And we'll say that's this time, or, or, or an estimate to be this time. But then you may go to another masjid that goes uh, off Abu Hanif's opinion, and they're praying, say, at 6 p.m. or 6.20 or something. And this is the reason why, is because uh, of the uh, Abu Hanif's opinion was double the length of the shadow. That's what it'll be later in the day. Okay, and now, um, of course, when you when this will be the uh, the end of the ikhtiari time for Zohar as well when you when you call that adhan, um, uh, and then that will be the the beginning of the dabruri time for Zohar, and this will be the beginning of the ikhtiari time for Asr, as I've noted down here, right? Equals ikhtiari Asr dabruri Zohar. Um, and now moving on. Uh, the yellowing of the sun. Okay, so when the sun uh, turns yellow, as it says, and casts this you know yellowness on the ground and on the walls and stuff, and uh, you may want to ask you know a scholar for for more details on that, or uh, you know pay attention, look at your phone app. You know the time of estimated to be Asr, uh, 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 and um, uh, you know because it depends so much on your geographic location as well, but you may want to ask like, your local scholar imam to, to help estimate this and, and start looking for it and so on. And It, it can take a while to kind of start to notice it. Um, this is one of the harder parts of, of telling the time. This is a little bit easier because it's very measurable. This one is, is, is it may seem kind of subjective, so you may want to ask your local scholar for more details on that and, and how to go about doing it and, and to help you do it. Uh, but the generality is that... Um, uh, this is about 40 to 60 minutes before Maghrib, but this varies heavily based on your your ge geographic location, right? If you're in, you know, uh, somewhere in Africa, it may be you know shorter, it, it may be closer to Maghrib. If you're somewhere like in Canada, it may be a lot longer than that. So just understand that the 40 to 60 minutes is, is a generality. Um, and you may want to look at, you know, as, as a start, use your, your apps and stuff like that uh, to help estimate it. And, uh, and, and again, talking to a scholar would, would help you a lot. Um, with estimating that, especially if your your scholar is using the the sun, um, so this yellowing of the sun is a daruri time for Asr. So that's when the ikhtiari time ends for Asr, 
and the Daruri time begins for Asr. Okay? And you're still in the Daruri time. At this point, you're in the Daruri time for both Luhr and Asr. Okay? They're both in their Daruri time. And at Maghrib, okay, is when the Daruri ends for both Luhr and Asr. Okay? And now, some of these may potentially vary based on the different Madhahib, which is why, again, you'll get more details on this when you study your Madhahib, especially when you get to like intermediate level texts and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, again, I follow the Maliki Madhahib, so a lot of this is, is going to be you know, based on that. Um, again, you're ta and talking to your local imam and scholar will, will, will can help you clarify this if you follow, you know, Hanfi Fiqh, Shafi Fiqh, you know. But the basic point of this video, though, is to help, especially with these shadows. Um, there's a lot of people that don't really understand this, especially the adding of the shadow and the, and the istoa and the zawal, you know, um, determining these times and so on. And it took me a while to, to learn this basic stuff, so... Um, Anyways, I hope this video benefited you, and please let me know if there's anything, you know, about your respective Medheb to add, um, anything to add about Maliki Fiqh, anything, any errors I've, I've made, uh, please kindly let me know. Um, and please, let's, uh, let's all make dua for each other as well. Um, thank you so much for watching, I hope this has benefited you. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astagfiruka wa atubu alaik.